Hey athletes, what's going on? Brian Schoen Brown here, physical therapist and wellness coach. Get your physical therapy, get your fixed nutrition, CrossFit coach and running technique specialist. And I work with you athletes to get you from injury to PR in eight to 12 weeks. And I wanna talk just about that today. The injuries that we get, the setbacks that we get because of these injuries and more so these ones that get you so frustrated because you've been dealing with it for a long time, you've tried a number of things and nothing's getting better and so you get in this whole mindset of I'm doomed and you get this mental frustration going on, hey Darren, hey Wallid, Wallied, um, you get these, you know, this frustration going on, you get um, this like woe is me type thing, this idea that nothing is ever going to work for you and um, almost like a hopeless sensation. I've been talking to a lot of people recently that are dealing with just this and as a clinician it's very frustrating. As an athlete it's very frustrating for me to hear this because I know there's other ways around this um, for a number of reasons. But first and foremost just know you are not doomed. Um, there are things that you can do. I think where we get our frustrations or a lot of people get their frustrations is we go online, we go to Dr. Google and we start looking into things and we see all these horrible things. We start talking to friends and family and we hear these horrible things. Um, maybe we, like any clinician, there's good and bad. There's good and bad physicians. There's good and bad physical therapists. Um, there's good and bad chiropractors. Like every medical pro profession has good and bad. Um, and there's times that we go to those bad ones and we're told you can never run again or you can never, like you need to start, stop crossfitting, you need to stop doing squats. Uh, you name it, I've heard it from physicians. Um, even myself, uh, when I had a bad ankle sprain, um, I was pretty much pushed away by a couple different physicians who told me nothing was wrong. So I understand it. Now, because of that, I absolutely love working with people who have these frustrations, who have been told these uh, things that um, made people feel like there was nothing they could do. Uh, so here's the deal. Just because you have a diagnosis X, Y, and Z doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Just gonna adjust it just a little bit and change my position. So it doesn't mean it's the end of the world just because you have this diagnosis. It does not mean it's the end of the world because you've gone to a therapist or a chiropractor or massage therapy um, and haven't gotten better. What it means is the root cause has not been found yet. So I've definitely had my fair share of people that I didn't get better. I sent them to a different clinician and they did better because they were able to break things down a little differently than I could um, and vice versa. I've gotten people better that have gone to other therapists as well. So first and foremost, just because you quote unquote failed therapy before doesn't mean a different clinician won't do something differently find a better answer for you and get you the results you want. It's just a matter of being patient, not letting your frustration get to you and continuing to seek out those answers because the answer, the correct answers are there. It's just a matter of finding them at times, finding that person that can help you. Along with that, um, even if the answer is you can't do that activity again because of whatever, which is very, very rarely the answer, uh, there's always something else you can do. Um, it's just a matter of, you might be a runner, absolutely love running, cool, I get that, but we can also find something else that you are going to love if for some reason you can't run anymore. Um, but like I said, that's far and few between on people that absolutely have to stop doing things. But there's ways we can modify everything, and there's ways we can work with anything in order to um, find a way to do activities you love, get you into new activities you love, that sort of thing. So it's not, there's no diagnosis out there that pretty much is going to shut you down from doing everything forever. It's just a matter of let's figure out what the answer is, let's get it taken care of appropriately, and with that, modify, adapt as needed for a period of time until we come back around to being able to do everything um, 100% again. So hope that makes sense to you guys. I would love any feedback that you have regarding this. Uh, you can post those in the comments below. And as usual, if you have any specific questions for me, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook Messenger. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Thank you everybody for hopping on today and watching this, and I will talk to you later.